Hey guys, and welcome back to another video. This time, I've once again playing the Anger Duel mod. However, instead of just spamming out infantry and going for militarism as fast as I can to overwhelm the enemy with my manpower, <laughs> I think I might actually start using some motorized units. I've upgraded my strategy in a few other ways. It's probably the best way of putting it. Oh, well, something you're still in the line. While the war's starting pretty soon, you're going to be this general's final guy. Wait, oh, I forgot. Now I need to have all of you doing drills because I just added stuff to the divisions. Okay. So yeah, you're here, so I just rushed the capital. You're down here, so uh then you're up north. Mm hmm. Let's go to production real quick. Light tank one for light tank too as soon as you can. Um, or did you? So now you're the next guy in the middle here, doing the same thing pretty much. All of you have been sufficiently drilled. Stop. Stop. Everyone's been drilled. Usually, having like a small, compact ish division. Well, not division, but like a group where you have like five mobile divisions. You can use it to exploit breakthroughs effectively. Especially when they're. Yeah, regular ones get a plus 50% modifier in combat and. They, you can use them to either punch your lines and finish encirclements, or have your main troops take the brunt of casualties and push through the enemy line. Nobody's training, and I have 101 divisions. There's an odd number somewhere. Oh, that bothers me. I need to delete somebody. <laughs> should probably start making close air support planes. Especially with all those... Oh, I never built airports to die. Nope. Eh. 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 Okay, there. Wait, no. For some reason in this mod, the enemy never, um ever makes airplanes. Let's see, I'm making um, one airplane, I think. And there's a few other bugs. At first I thought this was mixing it with one of the other mods that I'm using, but... No, no, it's part of this mod. I've tried launching it without any other mods and it's still the bug. Plus 15 organization. Twenty sixth of December. Another issue. Another issue I personally have with this mod is that none of the victory points make any sense. I mean, random cities are worth. Places with 2 million population are only have one victory point, and the place with 10 million has 10 victory points. 
when normally you would have like 25 or something and then 5, 5, 5, and then you have a few cities with 10. So the victory point system is kind of weird. If your war support's low, all they have to do is drop a single paratrooper division in and you instantly capitulate. And the enemy never garrisons their capital, so eliminating them is super easy. Because they have 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, they have 9 cities plus their capital. So you would take, you don't, if they were had like low war support, you'd only have to take 50% of their victory points to win. All you have to do is parachute a singular paratrooper. I mean, if you wanted to, you could use nothing but a battalion and still manage to win. Well, let's get ready to exploit some breakthroughs. Why can't you attack? Oh, they're in strategic redeployment net. able to get a pretty big encirclement here. However, the enemy usually figures it out and starts to retreat, but sometimes you get lucky. One division needs to stay, and the other four need to move. Full-scale assault. They have low supplies for some reason, because they don't just they don't control all of the infrastructure in the province. Instead of attacking them, atta okay, the AI decided to ruin my perfect encirclement. However, my motorized troops are doing fairly well. The borders are kind of moving up north. I have almost a million manpower. Casualties are pretty similar. We've only taken 110k. They've taken 108 or something. Ooh, a seven division encirclement. I think that'll fix the casualty rate just a bit in my favor. Yeah, that killed 50,000. <laughs> yep, there goes their army. They're, they're no coming back from that. And even when you only have three airplanes doing close air support, just the mild bonus that you get from having air superiority is pretty good. I should probably stop mass producing airplanes and start making, um, well, well I stopped mass producing tanks and start making airplanes instead. Equipment contracts, can make a lot more infantry equipment. I probably don't need any more infantry equipment. One point, I'm pretty much two years in advance, but it's only 232 days. So I guess I'll do it anyways. The offensive is really starting to stall. I wish I had my mobile units here. I might be able to finish it with regular old infantry. Yep, it looks like that's how it's going to work, isn't it? Come on. Break through. Come on. Because, I mean, they have an armor division, six infantry divisions, five infantry divisions. Oh, it's pause. I'm dumb. <laughs> Even just a little bit of a breakthrough here could end the war in the south. One day, 12 hours. Ah. Move the whole force. Attack you people. Hopefully you won't be able to retreat in time. And if not, I'd still encircle an armored division and some other stuff. Ooh, there. Let's see, four, 
another seven infantry divisions. Kill. Probably won't end the front, but it's certainly going to speed it up down here. I should probably like you know look and see what's happening elsewhere. Everything's going pretty well. What am I producing that's outdated? Tanks. Better light tanks. Um I mean things still look like they're going pretty good. Even though I'm completely on the offensive, I still have less casualties, mostly from my encirclements. I'm pretty sure that my you know, sort of just passive attacks are Okay, you're the general in the Okay, so yeah. Uh, and just every general go on to aggressive. We'll take a whole bunch of casualties, but if we have every unit always on the attack and no one defending, which in real life would be a really bad strategy, <laughs> in this game we'll probably be fine, because instead of having like two divisions hang back, and defend, they have everyone always attacking. Ooh, ooh, another encirclement of an armored division? Nope. No. Close, though. Maybe able to form a united front. Keep attacking. Because once I have all fronts sort of attached, I can just give them the field marshal order. Which is going to save a lot of time. I should probably stay back and train them a little. Wait for the AI to throw endless attacks at me, letting me drain their manpower so I can do another grand attack. Or I can do this and do a lot of dumb stuff you wouldn't do as an actual commander and get away with it anyways. It's probably a good plan temporarily, although I'll probably not need it. Infantry, army offense, night operations, army regrouping, want to do more attacks and the low supply, I should probably do the, what you might call it, logistics. Hoping that because war started in 1940 January, it's only March. It's been around three months, and they're losing on every single front. And I'm um, I might be able to get a huge encirclement here if the AI does something stupid, which it looks like they're doing. Come on, two prong. I think it's gonna work. Uh, eight, six hours. Come on now. Destroy them. Don't bother attacking. Okay, great. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven. Seven divisions. Why do I keep doing encirclements with seven divisions exactly? Seems kind of weird. That is going to definitely turn the casualty rate in my favor. I still have my 101 divisions, they're now down to 44 to 84. Once it becomes apparent that no one's going to win, I kind of want to know how many divisions they have. So I think I'll tag them real quick. I wanted to make this interesting, I gave you... I gave, I literally gave you 200,000 manpower so you would be better, but no, you still managed to lose hard. You now have 60, okay, you have 61 divisions, you're not doing that bad, you might be able to turn it around. I doubt it, but 
maybe. I mean, you have. You know, I'm feeling generous to the AI. They're going to get another two hundred thousand manpower. Okay, that's two million, but they can't pump out troops fast enough to stop me. So even with two million manpower, it's not like they could do anything to stop me. So I've given them more people than are in most of my provinces. More airplanes. Maybe I should add some, like, you know, armor divisions or something. See our five guys over here might be able to pull off another encirclement of the two divisions in the center. Casualty rates are probably through the roof because they keep launching random attacks that are obviously not working. But attacks that don't work, when is that ever stopped the AI? So I guess I'm just going to delete everyone's battle orders and give them a field marshal order. Unfortunately, that's going to stretch my five breakout divisions then, but I'm not going to bother actually like giving them custom orders because that takes too long. Come on. Aggressive. I have no idea why just switching the general Ural command... Oh. He's a pretty good general, actually. Better than everyone else, but still, I don't understand why that made you so much more effective. As we're now breaking through. It's been about four months since the start of the war. It appears that their two million manpower actually might be slowing me down a little, but it's definitely not stopping me. Should have brought those five divisions down here and went through those three, and not only would I have been able to encircle one, but I would have had a bigger area, so they won't be able to cut me off later. Now they're launching a useless offensive against me, but I guess they have two million manpower, so it really doesn't matter how many useless offenses they launch against me, as long as I launch more useless offenses. And I have six, I have 6.2% of my manpower mobilized at one time. I decided to, in this episode to just cut out the whole preparation part, because, I mean, it's not that interesting. And... Well, come on. All two divisional. Kill them. Okay, there's three divisions there. That might have been a bad plan. And it sucks, because the... Oh, now you have... Four motor, all five, all five motorized divisions. No, just just four. Yeah, that attack went nowhere. Like I said, I've taken pretty much every city except one and red capital. Might be time to take drastic measures. And four days instead of researching a doctrine, research paratroopers. So I can end this. Oh, never mind. There's an easier way to end this. With motorized troops. As usual. Because they were too stupid to garrison the capital. <laughs> and... For some reason it lags during peace conferences. Mine. Well, that was... Easier than I thought, but... Well, till next time, I guess I'll be seeing you later.